So the way that we kind of talk about it right over here, like me going to the side, I say I'm able to block it. I'm using the bones to kind of block it. From this point, I'm going to try to attach to the wrist. Do you think I'm getting cut at the same time? Yes. 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 Are you going to die? No. 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 But it's easy for me to tell you because I have a rubber knife. But if you're fighting for your life, guess what? A knife fight, you're going to get cut. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. She basically hits me with the knife. I, I'm able to attach. If I go to the side, like what you said that you wanted to do, in order for this knife to cut, what does he need to do? Well, he can switch hands, so that's another problem that we're going to have to deal with. He's going to go ahead and get the knife back. So he basically pulls it back. Guess what's happening? I'm getting cut. Does, does that make sense? So the way that we're, when I say that, I recommend you, I can tell you that when we're going through the academy, how hard are the recruits going? Hard. Because they hate each other. Correct. And of course, you know, in all police academies, what are they teaching you? Straightforward. Sideways. I can pluck it out. Yep. And they basically block it this way, so perfect, right? It's so awesome. And from the top, boom, and then block it, and then move it offline. So what do we do with the knife? We're going to bring it straight down to the ground. But he's obviously bigger than me, right? So he should be much stronger. <laughs> <laughs> In order for me to take this knife straight down, I'm going to go ahead and make a triangle right over here. And what do you think I'm doing with my body? I'm going to lower it, also known as a level change. And I'm finally going to bring it straight down to the ground. Okay? And you can see how I'm putting my body all the way straight down to the ground. From this side, what am I going to do? Am I going to go to the left or to the right? Say it. He would smash his head. But the time I'm trying to smash his head, what do you think he's doing? He's going to try to get it. So do you think that I'm going to be able to, do you think, I hate to pick on you guys since you guys are tiny. Do you think that's going to be effective with her? What do you, what do you, do you guys, do your police agencies teach you to take a trick down to the ground? So magically, you move the person out of the way. You guys have twinkle toes, and you guys are moving to the side and then drawing your weapon under stress, pulling the trigger multiple times. Has anybody seen somebody shot before? Yes. Okay. What do they do when you shoot them? No, no reaction. <laughs> no reaction. <laughs> exactly. But what, are, what you, do you see a lot of these academies doing? Like they shoot the person and all of a sudden everyone dies and you holster her up. So that's called a training star. So the way that I always have our guys do it is that they consistently move, move forward. You gotta get control of the knife first. So I'm gonna control this knife. So once I go ahead and level change, which what am I gonna do to control this knife? Hit it. I'm going to get on top of it. Okay, how am I going to get on top? Am I going to go to the left or am I going to go to the right? Tell me. Left. Left? Left? Mm. <laughs> right. 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 Because what happens if he goes right here? It still switch hands and it can still stab. So, presence of mind, obviously, guess what I'm going to do? Put 200 pounds of Asian Fury on his dress. <laughs> Take the other. Turn it pounds, and I'm going to put it like on his neck. I'm going to smash it as hard as I fucking can. From this point, if I had a gun, contact shot multiple times. And some of you guys are saying, is, is that authorized? Yes. Do you guys agree that it's authorized? Okay, now with all the news and media, CNN, and all that other bullshit, they're going to tell you, oh, well, they should have better training. Well, have they really dealt with someone with a real knife before? And is it lethal force? Yes. You should be able to, you as officers and agents, you guys should be able to articulate that. So can you see what that, that is going on? So what the U.S. Marshal, my buddy showed me, was that somebody's too strong to kind of pull it straight down to the ground. And you know, these black belt jiu-jitsu guys have been doing it 20 plus years, you know, stopped multiple times. He was saying that if a person has a hard time going straight down to the ground, what they do in jiu-jitsu is they just zigzag straight down to the ground. They reached out of that shit like two months ago. <laughs> and then send the person straight down to the ground. Now, when do we remove the weapon? When do we remove the weapon? After he stops moving. So when does he stop moving? After the shot. After the shot. 
After the shots? After the shots. Or if I have a whole <laughs> smash and I smash his head and he's unconscious. That's why I remove it. Because what we'll see a lot of times is that guys, they try to remove the knife when the person is still actively trying to fight. Does that make sense to you guys? So we're now, how we got on the knife, we are talking about the different types of takedowns, talking about going back and forth. He basically stabs it once, boom, he brings it back towards him. We're always gonna go ahead and keep attached to the knife. From this point, same concept, we do that triangle, and then ripping it straight down to the ground. And then we're still handling it the same exact way. 